This is a video presentation of tensionable knotless all suture anchors for an anterior bank heart repair. After the induction of general anesthesia, a thorough exam is performed evaluating for both posterior and anterior shoulder instability. We begin by performing a standard posterior portal followed by a high anterior superior portal through the rotator interval. We begin the procedure by performing a standard diagnostic arthroscopy looking for pathology in the anterior inferior labrum. The arthroscope is then placed into the inferior axillary recess to evaluate for loose bodies. The biceps tendon is then probed to evaluate for stability, followed by probing the superior labral complex and bicipital root, and lastly, the superior posterior portion of the humeral head evaluating for a hill sacs lesion. The frayed edges of the anterior inferior labrum are debrided with an oscillating shaver and then with the use of a periosteal elevator is used to mobilize the capsule labral tissue. An accessory anterior inferior portal just above the upper border of the subscapularis tendon is placed followed by the placement of an 8.25 millimeter cannula. A hooked electrocautery device is then used to further elevate the capsule labral sleeve in a superior direction to further its mobilization. With the use of an oscillating burr or alternatively the use of a rasp, the glenoid neck is fully freed from soft tissue until a bleeding surface is established to facilitate bone to capsule healing. A small arthroscopic atraumatic grabber device is then used to demonstrate full mobility of the capsule labral tissue. A curved drill guide seen on the left along with a flexible drilling pin is used to place a all suture soft anchor. The cannulated drill guide is placed through the anterior inferior portal at the 530 position 1 to 2 millimeters medial to the glenoid rim. The all suture anchor is placed through the cannula into the bone tunnel initially by hand and then fully seated with the use of a mallet. The working repair suture is then shuttled out of the anterior superior portal. A curved arthroscopic suture lasso is then placed through the anterior inferior portal deep and inferior to the anchor along with the aid of an arthroscopic grasper to place the soft tissue on tension and further facilitate a superior and medializing capsular shift. The looped nitinol wire is passed and shuttled through the anterior superior portal. The repair suture from the anchor is placed into the loop of the wire and shuttled through the soft tissue as it exits out the anterior inferior portal. The first step is pre-tensioning the anchor. An arthroscopic grabber is then used to grab the capsule to allow for anatomic reduction next to the face of the glenoid. The suture is then cut flush to the face of the glenoid. Sequential anchors are placed in a similar fashion with the second typically being placed at the level of the anterior band of the inferior glenohumeral ligament followed by a third anchor which is placed at the level of the middle glenohumeral ligament and finally a fourth to help facilitate the repair of the anterior superior labrum. The final repair construct is probed thoroughly to ensure complete stability of the new reconstructed labrum. Final arthroscopic visualization can be seen by switching the arthroscopic visualization to the anterior superior portal.